gorgeous evening to be out and about, whether you're going to the fair tonight or just hanging out in your backyard. It's all thanks to high pressure settling in yet again this week. Uh, so that's going to keep all of this rain that you see on radar well off to our west. In the meantime, cooler and drier air continues to settle in. In fact, we may see some of the coolest weather overnight that we've had in over two months. It's been since mid-June since we've had a little preview of some fall conditions. So that's working in tonight. Now, eventually, this warm front, this warmer air over Iowa, works back towards us. So we may see a couple sprinkles tomorrow, as well as some more clouds on the way. So soak up the sunshine while we have it. That sunny weather getting Rockford up to 80 degrees. So looking at the mid-70s across the rest of the board, about 76 in Poplar Grove, Belvedere, as well as at the Boone County Fair, and middle to upper 70s across the remainder of the state line. We'll continue to have the warm start to the evening, but then we cool off quickly down into the low 70s right before sunset, 60s quickly after that, and that is the trend on the night. We drop rapidly down into the 60s and 50s later tonight. A few spots in low-lying areas may even get down into the upper 40s, so a bit of a September preview just around the corner, not only tonight, but going into tomorrow as well. We'll see lots of clear weather tonight, and then a few clouds roll in tomorrow, and there is a chance for some sprinkles going into the afternoon. That's as that push of warmer air starts to work back Back towards us, but as you can see, it doesn't quite affect Friday's temperatures down into the mid 70s. Typically, we're in the mid 80s this time of year, so this is nearly 10 degrees below average and a preview of the typical weather that we see as of next month. So as you look at future track, here we are going into the afternoon. That's where we do have a chance for some very light rainfall during those afternoon hours. So that's something we'll keep a close eye on as you start to make your weekend plans. We'll continue to have uh, some dry conditions then into Friday night, and then kind of rinse and repeat for Saturday. Early chance for some showers and possibly even a few storms right near Lake Michigan. We might get just brushed by that, but then in the afternoon, it's just some scattered sprinkle activity as any kind of storm chances continue to move off towards our east. As you can see, we might get brushed by some very light rainfall over the next 48 hours, but that really won't affect your weekend plans too much. And thankfully, all of that rain did have one benefit. No dry conditions, no drought, uh, thanks to the latest drought monitor update as of today. Looking ahead in the forecast, after some slight chances for sprinkles and clouds going into the weekend, you can see we're back up into the 80s by that point. It's back to the sunshine by the time we get to Sunday, and we'll continue to have the upper 70s to low 80s throughout the majority of next week. Quiet weather keeps going, which will help out with the flooding we're, we're still in. And your most accurate 10-day forecasts, we'll continue to see that dance back and forth between the 70s and 80s. May see a little rain eventually towards the tail end of next week, Derek. All right, looking comfortable out there, Alex. Thank you.